Hi, I'm Lindsay Baumgrand of Nourish Move Love, and today I have a 10 minute low impact, high intensity workout for you. So it's a low impact HIIT workout using one dumbbell, okay? So I have a 20 pound, a 15 pound, and a 12 pound. I'll be toggling between them. Use whatever you have, okay? This workout is great for all levels. I'll show you ways to scale it up and ways to tone it back if you're a beginner, uh, maybe you're pregnant or postpartum. And if I'm not giving you the modifications that you need in this video, check the screen over screen. We're gonna put some additional modifications in here because I think this makes a really great pregnancy, postpartum, um, workout. I actually wrote this when I was pregnant and now we're reshooting it. Obviously I'm not pregnant anymore. Um, so we're reshooting it. So I'm gonna show you ways to scale it up. Why is it high intensity? Because we're using a dumbbell and a lot of times we're pressing that dumbbell overhead. So that's gonna raise our heart rates, okay? So it is 10 minutes. There's no warm up. We're jumping right in. If you need a warm up, we'll link that below here, okay? If you like this workout, do me a favor, hit subscribe and come back for more workouts at nourishmovelove.com. Let's get ourselves started. Your workout looks like this. Five exercises, one dumbbell. Each exercise you do for 45 seconds of work followed by 15 seconds of rest. We're gonna repeat it twice, knock it out, 10 minutes and you're done. Add it on to another workout or do it as a quick, effective 10 minute workout all on its own. Your first move I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna use a 15 pound dumbbell. Dumbbell is gonna go in my right hand. It is a lunge and press, okay? So I'm gonna step back on my left leg, do a lunge as I come up to push, opposite arm, opposite knee lift. So lunge and press. That is our move number one. And we're gonna kick off this 45 seconds together. Okay, move number one. I hope you guys are nice and warm. I know I am. Dumbbell right hand, right foot forward, left foot steps back to lunge. In three, two, let's go. So it's a lunge and a push. Inhale down, exhale up. Opposite hand, opposite knee is driving. There we go. Lunge and push. Nice work. If this is too much for you, you're gonna give me a lunge and tap and press. Lunge, tap and press, okay? So you don't have to add the knee drive. It is completely optional. Whew, it's really gonna activate those core muscles. Let me tell you, shoulders on fire, legs on fire. Push it up, you got it. Whew, 45 seconds, come on. You got this, unilateral moves. Focusing on one side of the body, 10 seconds here. Whew, stay with me, this 15 pound dumbbell is feeling it. Come on, give me five, four, three, two, and one, nice work. Whew. All right, hand switch dumbbell swing. I'm gonna go heavy, use what you have. It is a dumbbell swing. So hinge, swing, switch hands each time. Pushing my hips back, not a squat, it's a hinge. You're on in three, two, let's go. I'm gonna show you from the side. Hinge, swing. As I stand tall, think about driving my heels into the ground and just standing up, stand tall. Stand tall, squeeze, squeeze. So I'm working my glutes, my hamstrings, whoo, my core. And as you'll notice by my heavy breathing, I'm also raising my heart rate right here. Low impact, high intensity. The kettlebell swing, here we're doing a dumbbell vari variation, has been named one of the most intense low impact exercises because it's got the strength and cardio benefits. Hang with me, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Push up with a wide climber. No weight here. Okay, you're performing a push up. I'm gonna show you straight on first so you can see. Okay, give me one push up, push up, wide climb. Join when you're ready. So I can take the push up for my knees, push up, hop to plank, step the foot outside the hand. Working on range of motion, hip mobility. You can drop to your knees for the push up, pop to the toes. You'll see a modification we're showing is that you can take this up to an incline on a chair or you can do the push up from your toes. Step it wide, 45 seconds. Woo. Elbows fall back towards the body. Nice work, right here. One push up, one wide climber tap. Nice work, 15 seconds, come on. You got this. Really think about pulling yourself, pressing back up to the top, holding a nice solid core, stepping that foot outside. You got five seconds here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Quick break. Uneven squat with rotational press. I'm gonna go a little bit lighter because we're adding a rotational press. Dumbbell's gonna go in my right hand. Squat, push. So I'm coming up and pushing to a 45 degree angle in three, two. Let's go, weight in the heels, stand tall, push. 
drive and push. That right shoulder. Notice how my right toe pivots, okay? So I'm pivoting and driving. Pivot, okay? Nice work. Hips, shoulders, glutes, core. Low impact, heart rate's rising. You can always go two hands, my shoulders, they're fatiguing. Woo. Take it to two hands, push. Really good option, push. Come on, you got it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Last move, launch your single arm row. I'm gonna go back to that heavy weight. Keep the weight in my right hand since that's what we've been doing. Okay, find a plank. You're gonna give me a bend, extend, a single arm row. Bend, extend, single arm row in three, two, let's go. Bend, extend, single arm row. You'll notice I have a nice wide base with my feet, right? Nice. That row, just pulling from my elbow right to the hip. Elbow to hip. Modification, you can always drop to the knees. So you give me bend, extend, drop to the knees, row. Notice another modification. You just give me a bent over row. You got it. Whew. See, low impact, strength and cardio right here. High intensity, low impact. It's a tough 10 minutes, you guys. Hang on with me, right here. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna repeat them. Same thing. Lunge and press with a knee drive, back to my 15 pound dumbbell. Left hand, left foot forward, right foot back. Lunge press, in three, two, let's go. Lunge, push, five moves, 45 seconds of work. 15 second transition, quick 10 minute workout. Woo. I'm a mom of two littles. I totally understand needing a quick workout. You know your option, tap it, take out the knee drive. Okay, some days all you got is 10 minutes. 10 minutes is always better than zero minutes. Remember that. 10 minutes of movement, always better than zero. Especially on the days I'm tired and crabby that 10 minutes can make a world of difference. Hang with me, you got this. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, and one, nice work. Hand switch swing, hand switch swing. I'm gonna go back to heavy, right? Hinging the hips back, stand tall, squeeze. Think about standing straight up, you're on. In three, two, let's go. Seriously, no joke, strength training. Low impact, heart raiser. Whew. We call this a beginner workout, but you guys, this is intense. This is for everybody, okay? You don't have to jump and go for 40 minutes every day to get good cardiovascular endurance right here. This is a solid 10 minute routine you can do all on its own. Stay with me, 15 seconds. You got this. Nice work, nice work. Come on, 10 seconds. Yes, you can. Hang in it, squeeze that butt. Stand tall for five, four, three, two, and one. Done with the hand switch swings, and we go down to the ground, push up, wide climber tap. Push up, wide climber tap. Whew. All right, you guys, those 15 seconds of rest, they go fast. Your 45 seconds starts in three, two, let's go. Give me one push up. One wide climber tap. One push up, one tap. Now you know your options, okay? You can take the push up from your knees or check out the video overplay whew, where we have the incline on the chair. That is a really good option for all you pregnant mamas out there. Whew, these push ups, they are challenging. Yes, you can. You are so strong, so strong. Push ups, such a true sign of strength. Whew, right here, let's go. Come on, keep going. Finish with me. You got this. Opening up those hips on that wide climber tap, 10 seconds. Woo, we're gonna do it. Yes, we are. In it together, team. Final five, four, three, two, one more push up, half push up. Okay, and squat, rotational press. Back to my 12 pound. Get through a couple reps with one arm. My shoulders are feeling pretty tired today. So I'll take it to a double arm. Dumbbell in the left hand. Three, two, 
Let's go. Squat, rotational press. If that rotational press doesn't feel good for you, check out the modification in the screen overlay, okay? Push it right here. Push it. Pivoting through that left toe, right? Pivot. Toes follow hips. Toes follow hips. Woo! Nice work, you guys. Woo! Feel the burn. Feel the burn. Feel the heart rate rise. Low impact, high intensity. Good way to train. Woo! 10 seconds. I'm going to a double press. Nice work. Stay in it. Finish with me. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice work, you guys. Last move. Launch a row. Launch a row. You can take this to a bent over row. Okay? You can take the row from the knees or toes. Last move. Come on, finish strong with me. Right here, find that plank. You're on in three, two, let's go. Bend, extend, row. Bend, extend. Think about pulling from the elbow, keeping the hip square. Pull the elbow right back to the hip. This 20 pound weight was an aggressive choice for me. Woo! Aggressive, challenging myself. 14 months postpartum, and it's taken a long time to get up to this 20 pound dumbbell. So now I gotta use it, right? Stay in it, you guys. Yes, you can. You got this. One rep at a time, 10 seconds. You're so strong. Finish. You're in it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Look at this. Out of breath. Whew. Face is bright red, nice and sweaty, all in just 10 minutes. I hope you enjoyed this 10 minute low impact but high intensity hit workout. If you did, hit subscribe. Come back for more workouts at Nourish Move Love com where we have a warm up and a cool down for you to check out too that you can add on to this workout. Have a great day.